Hello and welcome to my knife channel. Well, I got this marbles knife and uh, it's no longer in stock or even listed in Smoky Mountain Knife Works, but the model number is MR265 and I got it on eBay. This these handles here really look like Marcarta, but from what I can tell from the listings and everything, it's G10. This is the micarta on the other marbles knife. And the only difference is this one feels a little bit slicker. But it really looks like it. I mean, it has the same kind of like pattern. Of course, this one is more of a rounded, uh, smooth. Anyways, this one's G10. And it comes with a... I think it's like a three inch yeah approximately three inch long or let's put it into cinema world seven and a half centimeters and on the back of the blade this is etched is an inch scale which you can use to make a ruler if you wanted to measure something even longer just by etching stuff this pull right here now on the pull on this one on this main blade right here is about a five there's no half stop i haven't cleaned it or anything yet because i just got it but it, it it has a pretty good click when it gets back here and it stops Pretty strong resistance to you know like that to, to mashing it down on your fingers um, yeah nice spear point blade All right now the other blade here this one these are usually in any multi-tool it seems like to me the awls or the can openers and stuff like that those have usually got a pretty strong pull on it this one's not too bad <laughs> he says he loses a thumbnail um, I'd say about an eight out of a 9, 10 scale, 10 being break your fingernail off. It's got a uh, cap lifter, bottle opener type thing here, and a nice serrated on either side wire stripper. Let's see how well that works. Got some electrical wire right here. Now you can hold it like this usually, you know, and rock the, the wire around to strip it evenly and everything, but sometimes I do the saw down pull down method been a long time since I stripped a wire it's another way you lose a fingernail if you don't cut all the way around you're trying to not cut into the copper wire and this thing looks sharp enough that yeah you would you would cut into the wire but yeah it'll get it done but yeah that thing's sharp And then you've got a screwdriver tip on the end of it. Again, no half stop. But what I like about this is it's got a Phillips in it too. And that Phillips got a nice little click to it when it ends. It's on the end of the knife too, which is good because if you had it here like in the middle, like some Swiss Army knives, you're going to be limited a lot of times. Sometimes you don't have much space. You want, it, But with this, you can get right down in there. And even though it's stubby, it looks useful. I couldn't find any specs on it or anything, and like I said, because Smoky Mountain doesn't stock it anymore. And eBay sellers, if they list anything, it's typed up, so you're better off figuring it out on your own. If you've got an example. Alright, this will probably come up in, let's see if it comes up in grams first. Or ounces, grams. 99.62 grams or 3.51 ounces. Yeah, it's, it's a stout knife. Well, let's get this guy zoomed in. Yeah, like I said, I like this pattern on it. It's really nice. G10. Uh, the stuff down here is... Uh, I believe I'm going to take that 
rust eraser type pad thing over here and just sand this down but it really looks nice it's it's real it fits together real well these are like brass pins here a nice bale that's solid sturdy has enough friction on it you know it's not just gonna like clink around it kind of like locks in place in between and there's no nail nick or anything but you just basically put your thumb up underneath this this one also I'd say is about like a seven seven to eight ish but it doesn't have a half stop either but you really wouldn't I mean you might have enough room to use it like that if you needed some leverage set it that way it's got a nice click to it you know, like I said, they don't always finish this exactly perfectly, but I think this one was like a $16 or $17 knife delivered, so. Look at that. See, I'd take a ceramic rod, or I've got a diamond rod that I can just go in here and sharpen this if I wanted to. It's sharp enough as it is. You don't want them super sharp. You want to be able to bite into the insulation, like strong enough to bite, get into plastic, but not strong enough to cut copper, which is fairly soft. Usually copper wire. Uh, let me zoom. Well, first let me do the other side. This little shield here is pretty cool. Whoops, I had it right the first time. Marbles Workman. Guess it didn't have work women, huh? Guess if you're a female, you wouldn't be allowed to use this. Um, yeah, it's it's nicely done. Like I said, let me look at the uh, how the main blade matches up while we're magnified. Yeah, like I said, as long as I don't get blade wobbled, this thing's tight. You, you know, on a longer blade, you've got more leverage, but. I'm putting a reasonable amount of force on this thing, and it's not moving. So, yeah, I, I really like it. It's a pretty good one. I just get these different kinds, just like, um... Whoops, I hit the wrong button again. Just like, uh... What was I going to say? Not, not doctor's knives, but... Camp knives. I've got several different camp knives coming in an earlier rough rider camp king or whatever with the the uh type of can opener that's just got the little looks like thumb studs sticking out i haven't used one of those in a long time i don't even those are usually like you're more likely to injure yourself using it then i've got the marbles camp knife it, the only thing i can see with it it doesn't have a bail on it and those are always useful in a camp knife to have something like this that you can clip to a lanyard or clip so you don't lose it and um what else was it, it was three of them anyway i've got those coming in <clears throat> oh and i got this sparrow rod this one's a nice one it's five inches long i can put the picture up of it five or six inches long it already has this hole you can either put a key ring in it or mount your own handle over here you know to hold it but it's a half inch wide ferro rod and these are nice uh, the bigger the ferro rod you got the more sparks you can make i was watching some bushcraft one he was saying that if you make an ember like out of wood or something the normal way, you know, like with a bow drill or something like that, your ember is only going to be like maybe 800 degrees. But if you use a ferro rod, which has got usually magnesium in it, the ember will burn at like 3,000 degrees. So that allows you to catch fire to wetter tinder and everything else. But a, a ferro rod, if you know how to use it, you can use it in any weather wet dry you know cold main thing is knowing how to build up that so i got that to add to my stuff of course when i was at walmart i got me some insect repellent you know 
You don't want bugs messing around with you. And this thing only costs $10, but a nice little hatchet or hand axe. It's like 15 inches long. I'm just going to drill a hole in here so I can put a lanyard. And the tips on these are really, really bad. I mean, it started off as... I've been working on it, but it started off as convex on one, and then it went down. And all you've got to do is just look at the apex when you get up up here, and you can see the grinds, you know, how well they've done it and stuff. If they met up or not. And yeah, they didn't do a, a real good job on this one. But it can be touched up. I mean, it's only like $10, like I said. Ozark Trail, one and a quarter. And they they epoxied or glued this on. When I was looking at them, they had, they had several of them sitting up there. And I was looking one for with a tight grain um, on this. Just, you know, going along with the axe. Cause sometimes they'll screw up. Yeah, and it's just like epoxy on here. Eh. For the price, it's all right. <clears throat> as much camping as I do and everything. But I do have a fireplace. So, I have that. Let me see how much time have I gobbled up. 11 minutes. Well, let me show you one other thing from my fixed blade collection. Um, this knife I bought quite a while back. I'd say in the... Mid-70s to... Mid-80s. came with a nice sheath. It's got a little bit of rust on the or one spot where it had some rust on it. All it says is Italy on the tang here. Zoom up. Italy. But it's a nice kind of put your fingers up there or whatever you want. Finger twill built in. Zoom back. Yeah, I haven't used it. I just had it kept in my collection. My stack leather type of handle. But if it ever gets loose, you can tighten it up with one of these or take it apart and repair it. Um, the blade, I think, is just... We know it's not 100% stainless steel. But a decent sheath came with it. Nice, well-stitched. They did a halfway decent job on burnishing it and everything. Anyways, that's just one of them. This guy's, let me show you how long this blade is. <clears throat> it's like 20 centimeters to the hilt. 21, but... It's like 8 inch long blade. <laughs> Double edged, sharp on both sides. I think they called this an Arkansas toothpick. And uh, I believe I got it from a company that used to put out catalogs called uh, Atlanta Cutlery. Not Atlantic Cutlery, but Atlanta Cutlery. And they'd have small, kind of like knife catalogs with all different kinds of stuff. And that's where I got this one from. But yeah. An Italian Arkansas toothpick. <laughs> so, yeah, when I, as soon as I get some other stuff, a lot of it's going to be in by the end of the week. I'll show it to you. But in this particular case, I really like this this knife here. You know, I mean, there's very few knives that I get that I don't like. But this one, I really like the, the quality of it, the way it feels in the hand, little features and all that other stuff. Just make a really nice addition if you're working around um, wires or automobiles or anything like that. Got a nice functional kind of drop point blade here, almost spear point. That sometimes measuring stuff, you're looking at a bolt and you wonder is that a half inch or quarter inch, you know, if you're working on the English system. It'd be nice if they put it up there in metric, too. Actually, for measuring stuff, I grew up on the American system, but the metric system is used in the scientific world, like when I worked at Intel, 
and stuff and yeah everything is in it's so much easier to figure out if you if we grew up on this you know instead of knowing what one inch was how many centimeters it was I'm like oh you know that's two and a half centimeters or whatever everything would have been a lot better because our scale just jumps from one just jumps to another digit over but oh well so much about the metric system yeah this one's made in china <clears throat> but it's very well made and well worth the price i would say so thank you for watching and have a nice day